High-speed boats expose people to dangerous impacts, and it's important to measure the, those impacts. We use the MAREC, the Marine Acceleration Recorder. This is a short video on how to install and how to use the MAREC, and it's really quite easy. This here is the MAREC Data Logger Unit. It records simultaneously on six channels with a sampling frequency of 600 Hz. This means that it measures the acceleration 600 th times each second. As you can see, the MAREC has four wire connections. This pair here is the power wires. They need to be connected to 12 volt battery. Red to plus and black to minus, of course. The MAREC starts to record automatically after the boat does more than three knots. So you don't have to worry about switching it on or off. It contains a 16 gigabyte memory stick that will last you for up to 320 hours of continuous recording. After you've used those 320 hours, you can open the MAREC and then take out the memory stick and download it to your computer. And then you're good to go again. This piece is the hull transducer. It contains a three axis accelerometer measuring hull impacts vertical, lateral, and longitudinal. These two transducers contain each one single axis accelerometer. They measure vertical impact on humans. As you can see here, there is an arrow pointing up. This means that when you place the accelerometer on your body, make sure that this side is facing up. And this last one, the GPS antenna. This records the speed, the heading, the position, and keeps track of the exact GPS time. This GPS puck has a little LED light that will blink red once it's connected to the battery. This little item here is not to worry about. It's just a watertight pressure equalizing ball. This is fixed to the mark and you do not have to remove it. Now let's look at how to install the MAREC. The best way to install the MAREC is to use dual lock. It is important to clean the surface before you put the dual lock on. Use a cloth and some rubbing alcohol. Just like this. Clean the surface and then attach the dual lock to the mark. Do the same thing on where you intend to put the data logger and the dual lock will stay so strong that you will need a screwdriver to pull it off. You only need to remove the mark if you intend to take out the USB stick and upload the data. This is done by removing these four screws and then simply take out the USB stick, put it into your computer, upload the files, then delete them from the USB stick and put it back into the MAREC. Mount the MAREC data logger unit, preferably inside the steering console or wherever it's out of the way. This is the body transducer. You need to put Velcro on the back side of this. Use the rough part of the Velcro, clean, the surface on the back and then simply attach the velcro. The hull or deck transducer needs to be put as close to the keel as possible and preferably on a bulkhead. This is to reduce the structural vibration. It also needs to be positioned longitudinally as close to the driver as possible or the person that you're trying to measure on. It is important that this is positioned straight in relation to the boat's vertical, longitudinal, and transver transverse plane. You can put it like this, like this. However, you cannot put it at an, at an angle. Just attach it to the Velcro. Now we come to measuring on the human body. And the only way to assess dangerous impact on the spine is to put an accelerometer on a human. The only valid validated way to do this is by the means of a kidney belt where you place an accelerometer. The kidney belt should be worn as close to the body as possible. 
It is important that it's tightened very snugly around the waist and that it goes down over the edge of the pelvis here. The body transducer should be placed inside the kidney belt, on the side of the body, straight below your armpit, right above the upper edge of the pelvis. It is fastened to the kidney belt by Velcro. It will then sit very still in the kidney belt and stay well fixed relative to the body. Make sure that the body transducer is fixed with the arrow pointing up. Let the wire loop and come back up out of the kidney belt like this and then tighten the kidney belt. This connector is color coded so that you know that you connected to the right channel. This one is red, the other one is black. There is no problem to disconnect and reconnect this wire when you need to move around. It's a good idea to wear this connector inside the clothing away from salt spray. So, when all this is in place and the red and black wire is connected to battery, you're good to go. As I said earlier, the mark won't start until the boat is making more than three knots and it will stop automatically once you stop the boat. The way it works is that it logs a 30 minute file that starts up each time that the boat is making speed and that file will continue to log until the 30 minutes are up. If the boat is still making speed, it will start a new file that runs exactly the same. Once you stop, it will stop recording. Each file is named by year, month, day, and a consecutive, consecutive number. For example, 15, 10, 21, 1. That's the first file on that date. If you have any questions or need support, please send an email to support at researchelectronics.se. Good luck with your data collection.